Reaction is pouring in from around the world following the Princess of Wales announcing her cancer diagnosis in that video released Friday. For more, let's bring in celebrity insider and entertainment expert Jackie Jordan. Jackie, thank you for taking time. And, and you're the perfect person to sort of talk to us. Aisha and I have been talking about how it wasn't just Friday. We had quite a week for the Royals. Absolutely, Griffin, Aisha. Um, you know, if let's just back up. We started last week with a, a photo of for Mother's Day of Kate Middleton with her three children that we found out, of course, was was doctored. And in fact, the Associated Press told all media outlets to drop the photo. Kate Middleton offered an apology for it. But goodness, does Kate Middleton really go on Instagram? I, I can't even imagine. And then on Monday of this past week, King Charles, there was a fake document that said it was came from um, the, the palace that King Charles had passed. I, so the, the palace had to go back and clean that up and say, no, King Charles is, in fact, alive. So then in the middle of the week, we saw video or photos of uh, Prince Williams and, and uh, King Kate Middleton at the store. So everybody's like, oh, wait, there she is. And then we got the very humbling, humbling announcement from Kate Middleton yesterday that she had been diagnosed with cancer, which hits the chord collectively of, of Prince William having lost his mother. And I'm just going to bring that up from running that again through my media lens and that perspective. When, and, the, and the palace isn't always great on handling news because way back when, and Gen X and the boomers remember this, but when Queen Elizabeth did not uh, acknowledge that Princess Diana had been killed for about six or seven days, it was, it was like, what? And I think even in this announcement, even though, of course, the royal family has the right to privacy, as I believe everybody human does. But the but the royals, as Billie Eilish, Eilish would sing, they also are, are in service to their community. So when you have a public life, sometimes you have to participate in, in with the public. And I think even with this outcry that we're all dis discussing and everybody is experiencing, even though Kate Middleton is asking for, you know, the respect for privacy, it is hitting the nerve of everybody who's dealing with a cancer diagnosis with their family. For every mother of young children, we're hearing way too much about cancer in the beginning. And so much of the public wants to go through the process with the family because they feel like the family is, in fact, theirs. I think that's such a great point. You know, I was um, telling people about my own mother who had colon cancer and had very, very tough abdominal surgery. And after that preventative chemo, whatever you want to call it, just to make sure that there's nothing there. And that was a very anxious time for, we were adult children, but we were stressed out until she got the all clear. And I think this moment, I mean, you've got to think a lot of people at home are feeling shameful for the way oh, that absolutely. they were spinning these stories on TikTok and Instagram everywhere about, are they having, is he having an affair? And it went on and on and on. I mean, it just got away. It got out of control. You know, this, and the royal family has had to deal with this uh, uh, for eons. Even when Queen Elizabeth I would, would disappear with illness, you know, the, 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 the UK and everybody was like, where is she? Is she dead? So we're always, you know, we're looking for the participation. I mean, the Brits have you know, the royals, we end up with the Kardashians, you know, and everybody wants to know. With the royals, I would also say they're facing King Charles has got cancer. Mm -hmm. Sarah, Sarah, the Duchess of York, has cancer. And, of course, now we have learned that Kate Middleton has cancer. So it's, it's a trifecta mm -hmm. of cancer hitting a family that we feel is immune from anything. Yeah. And, you know, and we're learning, of course, again, or we're being well, reminded and, that they are human, too. And, Jackie, they're not immune to family spouts and, and rifts because I should have been talking all morning. I think one of the most stunning things we've learned in the last 24 hours is Harry and Meghan weren't given advanced warning. Oh, oh, poor form. Oh, that's poor form. And that's unnecessary. I mean, is that really necessary <laughs> to do it that way? Yeah, I uh, find that shocking. I do see also that Kate Middleton's younger brother, James, has, has issued a public statement in her support. You know, one could wonder if he's also learned about it the same way. And again, when you when you live a life of of royalty, 
you know, you can come to expect that people will want to um, want to know more. And also, again, I'm going to hit that, you know, she's she you know, she's Princess Diana's age. I mean, we all watched Princess Diana with two young boys. I think that's the I think that's the central nerve. This is really hitting, you know, she, Kate Middleton's young. They also she's very popular. She's not like uh, uh, Prince Harry's uh, Meghan Markle at all. She's very popular. Everybody is expecting her to be queen. They want her to be queen. I think she's even more anticipated to be queen than Camille. And could you, I mean, imagine the irony of where Camille sits right now at this yeah. time period. Mm -hmm. I think Niall Gardner said it best, that, that the monarchy he thinks is still very, very strong. It's hard not to look at them, though. I mean, just there's so few members that are actually working um, that it, it feels like the monarchy is fragile. But he, he definitely insists that it's still strong. What do you think? Oh, I think they're survivors. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I think they, I think, and I also think they're architects. So I, I don't, I, I don't, I, they will, they, they will, they, this will be to their advantage at the end of the day. Jackie Jordan, thank you very much for taking time today. Thank you so much, Griffin. I have a great day.